Good morning. Hi everyone. How are you? I thought I would give a little tiny bit of an update as to what's going on um, right now with me. <laughs> I am actually, I'm kind of messing with the filters on this a little bit. So I, oh, okay. Anyway, so hello. Good morning. Quick question. Does everybody have their coffee? Because I have mine. Oh Ready? Morning vibes. So tired. Still. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I hope everyone's waking up okay and feeling awake. Yesterday, I had to get in a seven miler with intervals, and I did, and it went great. It actually did, it went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, let me just see here. I hope everybody can hear me okay. How's that? Okay, anyway, can you let me know if you can hear me all right because it is, I'm not sure how the audio is. Anyway, so yeah, I did seven miler with intervals yesterday. The half marathon is coming up October 9th and I've been having a very difficult time staying on task, staying on track with training and exercising and school and I've been depressed. What? No. Yes, I had some um, depressive episodes recently so, um, I'm trying to remember to take care of myself and not necessarily to take care of everybody else all the time. I'm trying to manage my own health. I'm trying to remember to do that. It's not always easy to remember to do, but it's important. All right, so coffee, come on, get in there. So when I've noticed I've been symptomatic with my depression, I try to take um, things off of my calendar and off of my plate so I don't feel overwhelmed. And I try to get proper rest, um, nutrition, talk to my therapist, make sure I'm taking my medicine, which I am. Um, and then just being patient and gentle and kind with myself and letting, you know, like riding the wave and being okay with, um, what I'm experiencing and, and just knowing that it, this too will pass. Um, all right. So oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, all right. So I have posted something. Oh my gosh, this coffee is so good. Oh, do you want to know what kind of coffee I'm having this morning? Hold on. Let me show you. Might help if I All right, I hope I'm helping my lighting situation just a little bit. This morning's coffee is brought to you by Bones Coffee Company, Peaches and Scream. It's not bad. It's okay. It's a new flavor. It's definitely unique. I don't know if I'd get it again. But, um, yeah, so that's what flavor coffee are you drinking this morning? And are you feeling the morning vibes? Oh my gosh, stop it. So good. Stop it. So yummy. Anyway, my kids started back to school. I have a 10th grader and an 8th grader. And I don't know how and when that happened, but here we are. And it happened. And it's great. Um, I don't know if anybody else is, and they're doing pretty good. They're at that age now where I'm like, how was school? And they're like, don't talk to me. So I let them do their own thing. Um, and I try not to be the annoying, um, imposing mother, which sometimes I tend to do, but let's take another big sip of coffee this morning because I need it so bad. 
Mm. My gosh, welcome to morning coffee. Thank you for joining me. And it's like ironic that I'm wearing my um, Rhode Island coffee milk half marathon from last year because I'm running the Hartford half marathon because I make all of the best choices all of the time. And I thought if I'm gonna be running this half marathon, I might as well do it for a good reason other than to challenge myself. So I am, I have set up a fundraising campaign for Metaviver, which is a stage four breast cancer research group. And 100% of your proceeds go straight to research for stage four breast cancer. It's actually, the reason I went with Metaviver is because I asked a couple of people I know who have survived and are living with breast cancer and they uh, that's what they suggested. So that's what I thought would be the best thing to go with is the people who've lived through it and uh, know others who've um, had to face that. So I thought that that would be a really good demographic to find out, you know, uh, which would be the best kind of organization to donate two. So there you go. <sighs> oh my gosh. I'm so tired, guys. I can't even, my life. It's been so long since I did my live coffees that I almost don't even remember what to talk about. Isn't that terrible? That's terrible. It's pretty bad. Oh, you may have noticed that I don't have lashes anymore. I mean, I have lashes right now, but I don't have the false lashes, the eyelash extensions. I developed an allergy to the glue for eyelashes, which fair enough, maybe it's the brand, I don't know. So in the meantime, instead, I've been using Latisse and I've been trying to grow out my own lashes and so far it's so good, no complaints. It's going really well. All right, this fall, the classes that I'm doing are, I'm trying to keep an eye on the time because I don't want this video to be too long and I don't want to run for too long. But the classes I have this semester are ethics, social psychology, microeconomics, and abnormal psychology. So it is a very fun workload. I'm loving my classes. I'm loving the subjects. And some of them are a little intimidating, but I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying school. I mean, I'm freaking out a little bit because of all of the work that needs to get done, but I am enjoying it and loving it. So how are we doing on our coffee? Good morning, hello. Hope you're feeling some morning vibes. Those could be good or bad. Mm. All right, I'll leave you with one other thing. And I hope this is helpful. It occurred to me the other day, like, because I've always asked myself, I'm like, why don't I have like this huge circle of like all of these like friends? Like, and I do. I have a I have a very good, healthy, big circle of friends. But in general, during the week, when I'm going about my life, I only really um, talk to a couple friends here and there, but for the most part, I'm kind of like doing my own thing, work, you know, doing schoolwork, dealing with the kids or working on my own like little goals. And for a long time, I used to feel really guilty that I didn't have like this huge circle of friends that I always get together with. And I was like, you know what? I got to fix that. There's something going on with me that I can't maintain these long-term relationships and big groups of people. And then a couple weeks ago, I decided to stop feeling guilty about that and stop feeling like there was something wrong with me. And I decided to just embrace that maybe I'm a little bit more, I mean, I hate to use the cliche, a little bit more of a lone wolf. Um, but I'm wondering if, if maybe I'm just one of those people who I think I want that huge group of friends all the time. And maybe that's not who I am. Maybe I just do better you know, with the big group during like celebrations, but then like during the week, little, you know, texts here and there, but you know, during the day I've got so much going on and that I got to get done. I'm realizing maybe that's not who I am and that's okay. Like I'm 38 and I'm still learning who I am. How about you guys?
Mm. I'm going to be 39 in October and I'm still figuring out who I am. I'm still learning to accept myself and be okay with my faults and failures and shortcomings. And it's like the picture of who I thought I was going to be when I was a kid, the person I thought I was going to be when I was an adult, that's not who I am. And I've been trying to make myself that person because I think that's what I'm supposed to be. And that doesn't, it hasn't been going very well. It hasn't been totally unhealthy. It just, it feels really, really good to not be pressuring myself anymore or having these expectations of myself that I'm just not gonna, I'm okay with not fulfilling those expectations. So just a reminder today, be kind and gentle with yourself because when we go out into the world, there is enough um, criticism and judgments about who we're supposed to be in the role that we're in, whatever that might be, whether it be a provider or a parent or a caregiver or an educator or somebody who's leading a bunch of people at work. It's either way, you're going to be dealing with a lot of that criticism and scrutiny. So if we can like just not do that to ourselves on our internal monologue, I think we deserve a break. So, um, oh, I have to get going guys. I've, I'm supposed to do a zero to three mile run today. Easy, like a recovery run. So I'm going to try to get that done before class, before my 930. And, um, I'd like to do a little bit of weightlifting in between, which I was, okay. I didn't think this was a thing, but overtraining, that's a thing. I thought if I overtrained, I would be like super ripped and muscular and like look like an Instagram model. That's not what happens. It just makes it hard for you to get through your workout and your routine if you're if you're overtraining and it's awful and you don't see results. So someone suggested that I just really focus on the half marathon running plan that I I printed out and was following. Except like I was throwing in like all my rest days, I would like do an hour cardio walk and I'd lift really heavy and I would lift on days that I ran and they're like, listen, don't just follow the program. And I did, I was like, I, I didn't want to listen, but finally out of pure exhaustion, I followed the program, been following it and I have been able to keep up and yeah, now I'm not overtraining and I see the benefits of it now. All right, I have to go got stuff I got to do. If you have a chance, please take a look at my Facebook, Instagram, and all the other things. I don't know. And consider donating to Metaviver, even if it's a dollar. Um, I have set some really crazy high goals for myself, like finishing a half marathon after not running for most of the year and raising $5,000 for breast cancer research. So I've made a huge mistake. All right, partner with me. That'd be great. Help me out. Okay, I've got to go. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I don't know. Okay. Bye.